guys, it's me Tiffany, also known as Taka Tiffy, and today I'll be talking about how we spent three days having unlimited fine dining food, amazing beach activities, as well as all the cocktails we could drink. Yup, I'm talking about Club Med in Chirate. So we went to Club Med in March this year and Seth and I went with another couple and this was such a great place to have like a double date kind of trip because you have so many activities that you can do but since all of it is already inclusive that meant that it's super flexible and we could do whatever we wanted without worrying about cost. Now this trip was only 3 days but there were a lot of things going on so I am going to split this video into a few parts so keep watching and subscribe to find out more. Before we go any further, I just wanted to share the price with you. We paid 990 ringgit per person for 3 days and 2 nights. And that was an off-peak price, also because we booked at the height of the COVID pandemic. However, I think the price is now about 1,200 ringgit, which is still very worth it because that's inclusive of everything. All you need to think about is the travel and how you're going to get there. For us, it took about 3 hours to get there and it was a beautiful drive, which made us realize that, hey, actually, the East Coast isn't that far from where we are. So we just arrived and we're now checking in. In front of us there was a large tour group so we thought that if you came on Sunday it wouldn't be that busy but I guess we were wrong. Oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy. We are currently waiting to be shown to our rooms. Uh, the parking is actually 5 minutes away from the lobby place and then there's a shuttle that takes them around. So I think the best thing to do is probably drive to the front, drop your bags off, then go and park your car. Otherwise you have to lug it across, I don't know, pretty far to get it here. We've been brought to this like hall sitting area and then they show you to your room in groups. We're making our way there now. Both of them. Hello. Hello. Hey, hi, what's up? <laughs> Look at all the monkeys. So, when we told people we were coming to Club Med, I think one of the things we kept hearing was that, oh, it's really run down now. I can kind of see why they would say that. Like, the room is very, very no frills. And I think for resorts nowadays, this this doesn't quite cut it. I think it still remains to be seen whether or not it is still worth and value for money. How do you find it so far? I'm not a fan of this. I bet it's just poor. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like, a, like a thing on the ground. There's a spider. This is the shower. This is the sink. And this is the toilet in a room all on its own. There is a hanging line to hang your clothes if you want to. And here we are on the roof, on the balcony. And you can take a look. They dropped off the bags, but all they did was knock on the door. So when we had left, they would have just left our bags outside. So that's just something to bear in mind security wise. New outfit. We are ready. We are now heading to eat our first meal hey. here. We are at the bar getting our cocktail. Drink number one. 
We're gonna do a counter. What sober Liang looks like. Oh my god. Okay, we should definitely do a comparison later. Show you. Thank you. <laughs> the first activity for us is cocktails and food. This is an art restaurant. We are seated in the restaurant and they will serve us a menu and then we can pick our dishes so it's not buffet style for an art restaurant. Our Sichuan noodle and then we have this very lame looking sandwich. <laughs> Wake it. Is that two out of ten? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our stomach semi filled by the Enak restaurant, which was not not the Enak lah. Sorry. <laughs> But then we are looking for other activities to do. We actually planned out our itinerary for the next two days. It is this whole sheet based on the schedule that they gave us. So this is going to be quite fun and hopefully we occupy ourselves in the most productive and efficient way possible. We are at the seaside, at the beach. It is a very sandy Until he comes out the mother crab. Oh my god! <laughs> we, we figured it out, okay? But I need two hands. <laughs> okay. I take out this. I take out the lemon. Too fast, right? <laughs> oh, you got it? Wait, no, no, you're not giving me space. Yeah, I want, I, I want to try and like... Oh, lift him up. So then we can kind of see. But you'll probably run off, right? Yeah. Alright, is everyone happy? Yeah, yeah, okay, pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, let's go. I'll just lift it up, okay? There you go. Hello. Okay, you can go, little guy. Go on, you're okay. No, no, leave him there, leave him there. Wow, oh, crab, leave him there. It's a crab. It's a little crab. Okay, three of you look here. The restaurant is called Rumbulan, and you need to make an appointment in order to go. So we are but trying a lot to make an appointment if you're not here. So you only can make an appointment the day before at 8 a.m. So because we're staying two nights, that means that we don't have the opportunity to make an appointment because we arrive kind of late, as as illustrated by his expression. So what we're trying to do is we're trying our luck. We're going over and we're trying to see whether anyone does not make their appointment, and therefore we will go in their place instead. We're on our journey. This is the what's this called? The train? Shuttle. The shuttle train. The shuttle train. It's not a train, but not technically a train. Okay, it's a shuttle car. It's like ooh. But how does that happen? Wait, so is someone topless right now? No, that's what I mean. No lah, they probably changed into something. We're at Rumbulan, and this is just setting the table for us. They're giving us a better view, so they're moving the table. <laughs> you can see them move the entire table. So we get a better view and we get to sit in the comfort of um, the space underneath the roof. This is really above and beyond. Yeah, they're really yeah. going ahead to give the best service. Yeah. Okay. So the way it works here is that it's kind of like an a la carte menu. So we ordered 
um, all of us chose different things that we liked. We ordered the same thing. They ordered the same thing. So the couples are getting the exact same order. So we were like, you know what? We're not gonna be able to try every dish, right? So we ordered extra of basically everything on the menu. So now we are trying every single item on this menu. They're very, very nice to move a table here so we can sit, sit with the rest of the group. And, and it's, it's so great, it's so great. The service is so good. Yeah, we're happy here. And they give us bread as well. Bread and butter. Yeah, this place is essentially a, a buffet, right? So I suppose if we're still hungry, we can order again. <laughs> like, you know, uh, another three costs. <laughs> Uh, white wine there and there. <laughs> I'm surprised you got rosé actually. Uh huh. I'm gonna try everything. Oh, yeah. So course one is a soup. With soup corn and crab. Hmm. Hmm. Am, am I in the frame? Yes. Oh okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's well. my starter. It's not too heavy. You get a nice balance between the corn and the crab. I'm gonna go one step ahead. Okay? To dip my bread in the soup as well. Good. Is the bread warm? No, it's creamy. Yeah. They put three croutons on this, and the croutons are very nice in the soup. The portion is also ginormous. This is my hand. This is like the whole bowl. It's huge. That is the beetroot salad. <laughs> Thank you. And this is the kapai pio. You can see that it's tomato. There is raw fish and seafood. I love raw fish. Yeah. This is the fish then, with risotto. I'm gonna share that. Thank you. Uh, the chicken rendang, rendang yeah. with nasi lemak rice. Where's the rice? Uh, yeah. yeah. Great. And oh, then we great. have a gnocchi with burnt butter. Thank you so much. The burnt butter gnocchi. So these are the three mains that they offer to us. We got a cheese platter from Barbie. Thank you, man. <laughs> Gosh. What's this? This is chocolate tart. Mm. Okay, so Eliang is cutting his chocolate tart. <laughs> this is something for us to share. Something mascarpone. <laughs> this is vanilla ice cream. <laughs> and this is strawberry ice cream. <laughs> this is the cheese board. your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life it's night time and we just had a brilliant amazing dinner we followed that up with some drinks at the general area they really go all out to just make sure we have a good time so everyone's was dancing in the area so much fun and now we are in our respective bedrooms but we're trying to call Alina Jasmine over so we can come and play some board games. So join us again on the next day. See you soon. Mwah.